<laughs> Elmo, why are you so tired? Yeah. Elmo doesn't like all the loud noises. Uh, it was a loud storm. We called it a thunderstorm because there was a lot of thunder and lightning. Um, Mr. Jim, why does it have to be so loud and so scary? Well, thunderstorms are scary, but if you know what's happening, maybe they're not so scary. In the summer, these rain clouds can grow up really high in the sky. Uh -huh. And even in the summer, you can get snow and hail in those clouds. Those particles are negatively charged. The ground is positively charged and the negative likes to meet the positive, and boom, you get lightning. Oh, well, but what makes the thunder? Well, the lightning is only as thick as a nickel, but it's super hot, and that loud heating and cooling creates the thunder. Wait, Emma thinks that thunder sounds like a big lion roaring. Ah, uh, it's very, very loud. Typically, the thunder can't hurt you, but remember, thunder and lightning go together. So if you hear thunder during the daytime, that means there's lightning around. If you hear thunder, come indoors. The saying that we have at the Weather Channel is, when thunder roars, go indoors. <laughs> yeah, but what if Elmo is still scared inside this house? Nah, it's okay to be scared because thunder is really loud. And if you're in your bed, grab your favorite stuffed animal or your favorite blanket and just give it a great big hug. You know what I used to do? I used to go get in bed with my mom and dad and give them a great big hug. Yeah, hugs always make Elmo Better. That's great, Elmo. Remember, thunderstorms don't last forever, but if you're outside, let's remind everybody what we want them to do. Okay. When thunder roars, go indoors! You got it, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Jim. You betcha. <laughs>